Establish what the rule of law is, and in very just lay language. I think a lot of our language sometimes is very stuffy, but the rule of law is really what is necessary to really govern and keep uh, and have some kind of uh, control and parameters and boundaries within any community, within any society, um, so that we can have specific ways that, you know, that we behave, which way we have to. Um, uh, do things and the way we have to progress in a society but within those boundaries. So I think I would say that it should be that way and, that, and that's the way that I like to it because boundaries sometimes can be moved when necessary um, in order to achieve a particular objective. And what inspired you to become an attorney general? Well, um, I'll say that I've been working for many years um, in the public sector of the attorneys. I've been a prosecutor, um, handled civil cases on behalf of the government, um, advocated for, for uh, child abuse victims and other victims' rights. And I felt that, you know, I really enjoy public service. And I am an appointed attorney general, so um, the governor of the Virgin Islands appointed me as, as attorney general, and I was really pleased to do that because it puts me in the position where I can really get benefit to the community to continue my public service at a whole different level. And what hardships have you faced in your journey and how were you able to navigate them? Okay, well, I'll say hardships. It, it is a very challenging position. Um, I'll say that uh, um, perhaps, and I, I don't know if I'll call it a hardship, but you definitely have to navigate through certain things such as politics, such as um, certain things that do not or should not um, interfere at all with the administration of justice. Um, it is not something that you, you do or um, that it would do for popularity um, or anything like that, but you have to be able to administer justice and to be able to act on behalf of the people of the Virgin Islands in my opinion, um, without fear or favor. And usually, uh, you know, you're doing something, you're not going to have to be, you can't depend on making your that's not what it's about. It's really about doing what's right and what's just. And in this day and age of technology, how can youth stay secure and safe on the internet? Um, that's a big, um, it's a big question, but it's also something that we're working very hard with respect to cyber security. That is so important um, because confidentiality is important. Um, being safe, really, like you said, is so important. So um, I, I think it's just a get continue with, with seeing what, what can be regulated, how we can regulate it, um, putting those things in place and catching up with the industry. This is going so fast, we have to catch up with it in, in protection of, of everyone because along with the internet, um, you know, comes, of course, many, many good things, but at the same time, there are so many types of new types of crimes that come up when we talk about cyber crimes and you know, crimes that, that are global or international that are able to occur because of the nature of the internet. So we really have to be able to really catch up with that and focus more on that. In fact, we are. So, you know, we're just developing and just got to really keep doing it because, you know, our security is important. Thank you so much for this. Oh, thank you.